Hello, Dr. Joe here of the 2020forum.com. So in today's video, I'm going to give you 11 signs and symptoms of chronic kidney disease and kidney failure. Now, chronic kidney disease and kidney failure belong to the same spectrum with end-stage renal failure being the last port of call. Now, you don't want to get to that last port of call because if you do get there, the only solution to your problem will be dialysis. You don't want that. So that's why it's important you identify uh, yourself as someone who may possibly have the problem, in which case you see your doctor, you get screened. If you're screen positive, you can then take steps to halt the progression of uh, the kidney disease because uh, chronic kidney disease is a progressive disease if you do nothing about it at all, okay? So it's important you pay attention in this video. And also, do remember that uh, 37 million Americans actually do have chronic kidney disease and a huge chunk of them do not actually know they got a problem because uh, some of the symptoms may be subtle uh, people may not recognize they have the problem until much later on when the disease has progressed so uh, you are in luck watching this video because you're going to be one of those who will identify themselves early get screened and then you do something about it now this is also very important if you've got high blood pressure or you've got diabetes because those two conditions are the most common causes of chronic kidney disease and kidney failure so if you've got any of those two conditions or both, then please do pay attention very well uh, to this video. Now, I'm going to give you 11 signs and symptoms, like I said earlier on. However, I also want you to pay attention to symptom number 8 and symptom number 11, uh, because uh, those two symptoms are telltale signs that you may be having chronic kidney disease. Okay, so let's get started. So symptom number one. Symptom number one is unexplained uh, loss of appetite leading to weight loss. Okay. Now this symptom is not necessarily specific to chronic kidney disease But if you've got it along with the other symptoms that I'm going to mention with some of the other symptoms I'm going to be talking about then it makes sense for you to get screened. By the way, it is a numbers game Okay, the more of these symptoms you have the higher the likelihood that you may have the problem. So that's symptom number one so symptom number two is shortness of breath now, this symptom is related to fluid accumulation in the lungs because the kidneys are not able to uh, filter a lot of the fluid. Uh, it, it accumulates in the lungs and then you end up with shortness of breath. Uh, this is not specific to kidney failure. Uh, heart failure is another thing that can cause it. But if you've got this and you've got some of the other symptoms, then please do pay attention and get screened. So that's symptom number two. Symptom number three is muscle twitches and cramps. Now, this symptom is related to the inability of uh, the kidneys to filter a lot of the toxins. Uh, these toxins accumulate and then they affect the nerves that are supplying the muscles. Uh, and then, of course, you start having these muscle twitches and cramps. If you're having this, especially if they're persistent, uh, you may want to pay attention and get screened as well. So that's symptom number three. Symptom number four is erectile dysfunction. Now, this symptom uh, is related to uh, the fact that, you know, the two most common causes, uh, high blood pressure and uh, diabetes, can actually affect the blood vessels that are supplying the male organ. So if you've got uh, erectile dysfunction, uh, then you may want to pay attention, uh, especially if you've got the other uh, conditions I talked about, high blood pressure or diabetes, uh, you may want to uh, really make sure you get screened to uh, exclude uh, chronic kidney disease or kidney failure. So that's symptom number four. So symptom number five is pain often at night okay uh, now what tends to happen is at night the kidneys are unable to concentrate urine uh, and then uh, what happens is you end up with full bladder every now and again and then you have to get up two three four five times at night to pee by the way this symptom is not specific to kidney failure uh, it can happen if you've got kidney infection you know bladder infection uh, if you've got uh, prostate issues uh, but if you've got this like I said along with the other symptoms then it makes sense for you to uh, to get screened as well so that's symptom number five so symptom number six is swelling of the feet and ankles now this symptom is also related to fluid retention uh, when fluid is retained uh, in the tissues uh, both feet and ankles are going to be swollen uh, it's not necessarily specific to kidney failure. Heart failure can also cause this. But if you've got this, especially if you've got high blood pressure, you've got diabetes, or you've got lupus, uh, then it makes sense for you to actually get screened. Okay? So that's symptom number six. Symptom number seven is persistent itching of the skin. Okay? This is also related to inability of the kidneys to filter 
toxins away in particular in this case we're talking about phosphorus so you end up having high levels of phosphorus in your blood and uh, this phosphorus will combine with calcium and that then ultimately leads to itching of the skin so if you have persistent itching of the skin uh, especially if it's generalized then uh, please do get yourself screened for uh, chronic kidney disease so that's symptom number seven symptom number eight is this is one of the ones I said you should pay attention to foamy urine okay now this is a telltale sign that you may have uh, chronic kidney uh, disease that you may have kidney failure that your kidneys are beginning to really fail because uh, this sign tells us that you're pushing out a lot of proteins in your wee. Pin proteins in your wee is not normal. Okay, so if you've got proteins in your wee, uh, then please, please, you really, really need to pay attention. Make sure that your doctor excludes chronic kidney disease or kidney failure. Okay, so that's symptom number eight. Telltale sign. Now, symptom number nine is unusual taste in the mouth. Uh, so the taste could be uh, metallic. Or it could be ammonia like smell or it could just be bad breath that you find it difficult to get rid of if that's something that's happening to you, you know, a bit of metallic taste uh, then please uh, get yourself screened as well okay so that's symptom number nine symptom number 10 is chronic insomnia now this is also not specific to uh, chronic kidney disease and it tends to happen in the later stages of chronic kidney disease now if you've got chronic insomnia where you've tried everything else and nothing seems to be working and then it might make sense for you to approach a doctor to get yourself screened for uh, chronic kidney disease okay so that's symptom number 10. now symptom number 11 is high blood pressure that is difficult to control now here is what tends to happen high blood pressure can cause kidney disease and kidney disease can cause high blood pressure okay so sometimes you end up with the chicken and the egg situation uh, which is which? Which came first? But at the end of the day, that argument becomes academic. If your blood pressure is being very stubborn, then there's a very good chance that uh, your kidney is already affected. Your kidney is already being trashed by uh, the high blood pressure. So uh, that is the point where you really, really want to get yourself screened for chronic kidney disease. Okay? Uh, because uh, when you do that, uh, then you need to raise the bar then, you know, you need to up your game uh, to ensure uh, that we get on top of the uh, high blood pressure. Um, I tell my guys in the forum, uh, those of them who've got this, uh, that they should not expect, you know, results within weeks. It, it does take time uh, for you to get on top of your blood pressure control if you've got uh, chronic kidney disease if your kidneys are already beginning to fail. So those are the symptoms. Now remember, the more of these symptoms you have, the higher the likelihood that uh, your kidneys are beginning to fail, uh, in which case uh, you really need to get yourself screened so that you take steps to halt the progression of the disease, okay? Now, if you got some value from this video, as usual, please give the video a thumbs up, please like the video, uh, please share this video with anybody whom you know that's got high blood pressure or diabetes, okay? Because it is important they know this. Um, now, if you've got any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to join us in the 2020 forum. Uh, that's where we talk about issues like this, you know, high blood pressure and other wellness issues. Uh, we'll be glad to have you there. Now, there should be two videos on your screen now. Uh, click to watch any of them because they are videos that will enable you to take charge, to take control of your health. That's it. Uh, until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.